So cool. We've already had the formula, we just showed that one in the last video. So now we have to get to find a specific number in the sequence. We need to find the 23rd term of this sequence. But it says find the approximation because this is going to be like a long, drawn out decimal when you get to the answer. That means we need to round this correctly or round it and get an answer. So let's take a look at this. I'm going to pull up the formula first. I'll write it down. So again, we need to figure out each one of these pieces so we can go, go ahead and get her done. So we need to know all we need to know all four pieces here to be able to figure out what's going on in that twenty third turn. So if we look at it, we should know what the first term is. Just ask this right here. It's that first term. We already know what n is because we're looking for the 23rd term. So n is going to equal 23. That's the ter number term we're looking for. But we're going to have to figure out the common ratio before we can do anything else. And we're assuming that there is a common ratio. But if there's not one, then we just stop and say there's no common ratio. There's no, it's not geometric and we have to stop. Unless we just do arithmetic, it is, if it's arithmetic. So here, let's go ahead and do our um, our terms here, so we know we do a two divided by a one. So here, a two is the negative one hundred seventy nine point two. We divide that by two fifty six, which is a one. And when you divide that in the calculator, you get a negative point seven. Okay, so that now we need to try the next two and make sure that it gives us back a negative. 0.7 again. If it does, then great, we have a common ratio. If not, we gotta stop. And reevaluate, reassess the situation. Okay, so when we divide that out, it's a negative 0.7. So that means we have a common ratio. Because those are the exact same numbers. So it means that the common ratio in R is negative 0.7. Alright, so now we have to substitute into the formula and we're done. So, sorry, substitute in and solve it out. That's all we have to do. So I'm going to rewrite the formula again down here. And we're going to fill everything in. In what it, what n is, um, a one we know is two fifty six. Common ratio is what we just found, so we're gonna put that in the parentheses there. Negative point seven. I'm gonna raise that to the n, which is twenty third minus one. And here I will put that directly into the calculator. I would hit in. Turn it on, you're going to do 256 parentheses, the um, white button negative, 0.7, close parentheses, the caret button, and then 23 minus 1. So on to the calculator, we'll get that A, 23, is approximately, because that's what they ask for, an approximate answer. So it's approximately, that's not an X, but like a wavy line. That, that's, this is the symbol for approximation. So it's approximately 0 0.100. Approximately. And that's all. That's all it is. Not hard. Enjoy it.